everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try things out for you so you know what to buy and more importantly, what possibly not to buy. Today I'm back with an unboxing. It's What's New Wednesday. Sometimes it's DIY Wednesday. This week it's What's New Wednesday. And in the midst of my most recent kind of next chapter, which has been moving towards smaller businesses, black owned businesses, women owned businesses, and things like that, I'm also looking for plastic free stuff that's going on. In the midst of all of this, I still have some product coming through. I'm sharing what I already had coming to me, which is today going to be from Integrity Botanicals. This was gifted to me. I just wanted to share as I unbox because these are some of, what? these are some of my personally favorite videos. So without further ado, let's dive into the unboxing. Here we go. Okay, our first Evolve Organic Beauty Climate Veil Tinted Light Medium SPF. Correct, it's another tinted SPF. They tend to be the things that people wanna know about the most, which I totally understand. Hyaluronic acid in it, 99.6% natural, 42% organic. Glass container, plastic components, but glass container. There we go. Well, that's exciting. This will be kind of cool. I want to see what it's like. Let's see. Oh, nice shape matching there. You know what I mean? A little liquidy. You can see it running down. Wow, wow, wow. That's some good coverage for a tinted moisturizer, you know? Oh, it smells really, oh, it smells good. It smells mild and it goes away pretty fast. So that is how it looks on my hand. And I can see how this could give you, do you see that shine? A little bit of a dewy glow. You know, people love that word dewy these days. It's a hot topic. That's lovely and it's not greasy in feel. It just sort of went on and sunk right in. Less dew, but still, a nice level of luminosity. Uh, I feel like this might be a winner. Crazier things have happened, still, I think it might be a good one. I'll just move you closer because I need you to see the products quicker. Put it out of these. Well, this is the Hyaluronic Serum. I have gotten some pretty solid results from using Hyaluronic. Well, it's temporary, but I've used it on fine lines for the forehead from Jane Iredale. I use, back in the day, SkinCeuticals. I wanted to give this a try. Apply gently to face and cleansed neck. This is just a clear serum in the same simple packaging. Like so. So next we have the Miracle Face Oil for all skin types, Revitalizing Serum. This has rosehip and argan oil, 100% natural, organic. It has Coconut oil derivative, sorry. A very short list, very happy ingredients. Okay, so this is the facial oil. Let's, let's get a little close up here. Me, 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 don't look at my nails. Don't look at my nails. It smells kind of like nothing, and I like that. It smells almost like a fresh oil, like a, you know what I mean? You know how fresh olive oil smells? It's kind of like that, but it has more of a woodsy scent to it. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. This is gonna be something I try. Separate pump before recycling bottle and carton. Yeah, like this is the carton it came into. I wish, I'm like learning more about stickers too. Man, it's like every little thing, you know? Kind of hard, because you gotta take the stickers off if you wanna recycle. Although this seems to be able to come, nope. We're getting there. This is the facial oil that I'm gonna use with my gua sha tool, which I still do every single morning. I have been using, by the way, this Lolly Plum Elixir. And while I can't speak to its actual benefits yet, I mean, it's supposed to be hydrating. My skin loves this stuff. And it's a fascinating company. And the whole perspective, there's so much that goes into what is happening with that product. It's kind of amazing. I still have to do a whole deep dive into that product in particular. I have more to go, but for now, just wanted to share that. It's pretty great. And then I have the da -da 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 -ma 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 -ma. Radiant Glow Mask. As you guys know, still using the Ayurvedic three-step skincare in the morning and the evening, but I'm starting to incorporate some other products back into the mix. So for instance, I might forego the three-step system in the morning, or actually I usually do this at night, 
and then I'll use the stem cellular line from Juice Beauty and I'll test that out and be like, all right, is this really as good as I thought it was or should I just stick to Ayurveda? I'm still bringing this stuff back in and out and I wanted to give a mask a shot. My skin feels still really great. It doesn't feel like it needs it all the time. I do have a little blackheads developing around the nose here and there. So I wanna see if I can kind of rejuvenate and clarify and do all the things that masks do. So we're gonna give that a shot. Then have the Evolve Gentle Cleansing Melt. You can't read that. Silly rabbit. It has coconut oil base or caprylic triglyceride base, I should say. Vanilla, rose, flower oil, vitamin E. This is for melting makeup off your face. Something I currently use is jojoba oil. So I wanted to try and see, does it do it better than jojoba oil? Certainly probably easier because I still don't have a pump for my jojoba oil bottle, but I want to see how this works. Ooh, oh wow, look at this. hey -oh. it's very like a uh, jelly. You see that? That's pretty cool. I did not see that coming. I thought it was going to be more hard in nature, like a harder formula. But no, I love this texture. I feel like this might be a lot easier to work with. Okay. It's so subtle. What I'm getting here is mainly subtle, subtle hints of rose. It smells perfect for someone like me who does not like a lot of sniffy smelling scents. And the last product of the bunch, straight A advanced gentle retinol treatment. Maya Chia, baby. I have had such good luck with my Chia. I talked about their super critical oil and extending it with a little bit of almond oil. And I, like I mentioned, want to start incorporating skincare back into the mix. Commercial skincare, where possible. This is also glass. I am really winning at this right now. But yeah, retinol for anti-aging or pro-aging well. I don't like anti-aging. And this, let's see what it says. Achieve the same results as a Retin-A product, but without the associated irritation. The reason I wanted to get this, outside of the fact that I'm a huge fan of this brand, the other reason is because the herbivore Bakuchiol oil is done and I'm still looking for another Bakuchiol. I did get a couple of recommendations from you, so thank you for sending those. These tests last for a while, so it's gonna be a little bit. It's supposed to minimize the look of lines and wrinkles, boost collagen production. Ooh, moth bean extract questionable name. And it has Bakuchil in it. This is an alternative, potentially, for the herbivore, which is very depressing. I know. I like to give these products, usually around 30 days is when I see some results. I have a lot to work with here. It's just a few items, but it is quite a bit to work with. Hi. Wait, there's more. I have the Pettivore box that I just wanted to hop on and share and add to this other unboxing video because I feel like it's fun to have the variety and you no, know, subscription boxes are a little bit different. I didn't pick this stuff. I'm just curious about it too. So here we go. In 2020, this is the artwork, Papaya's Love. We have the first, well, it's not the first, but I'm gonna call it out. It is the Be Kind Nourishing Hand Balm, full size of this guy. Plastic, 50% ocean found plastic. It's a step in the right direction, but it's still plastic. This is rose and geranium. Usually not like a big rose person. Don't tell anybody, but oh my God. Ugh. It is dense. So nice. Oh my God. Wow. Let's see if it soaks in. This is some good stuff. Ugh. My hands really do do need this. I love that it's it's very dense coming out of the tube, but it feels actually very lightweight. Wow, this is really good off the bat. The next I have from Kaylee Beachy Kiss Natural Lip Gloss. As you can tell, I have some new lip gloss currently on. Ooh, Beachy. Okay, castor oil. I like that castor oil is the first. I'm very into castor oil at the moment. Okay, let's try this out. I have some lip gloss on. We'll take it off. All right, let's try this out. Oh, I want more on there. I think this is just gonna be... Very lightweight. Very subtle tint, like you won't see much of a tint. Feels nice, like 
Uh, every day I could go through this pretty, you know, if this was the one thing I had like in the car or on my desk somewhere, I would use it all the time. It has the scents of watermelon, coconut, pineapple, hibiscus, jasmine, mango, papaya. It has stevia, so when you taste it, it doesn't taste weird. You will taste this one, a bit more liquidy than others, which makes me think it's not gonna hold up as well, but time will tell. Takasumi Detox Deodorant. I have been wanting to try this. Here's this little baby deodorant. I love that they did not send a full size here. What if I didn't like it? Then it would just go to waste. And this is in Sakura Blossom. Sakura Blossom. That's very heavily scented. That's very heavily scented. That's very heavily scented. I don't know how that's gonna go. I mean, I don't see making sense. I'll try it. And then the last is this little bitty guy from Acar. 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 Sorry. This is the Restore Eye Serum, a luscious and soothing oil for targeted treatment around the eye. Liquid Amber Serum is charged with key ingredients to depuff and make your face look like magic. Didn't say that. I said that. I said the depuff part though. Ah. I've been getting a lot of these in Petty Blue boxes, boxes, and I haven't used them because I've been in the mix with other products. Ingredients list. But it's looking very clean. There are some essential oils in here. Sea buckthorn. Anyway, I'll do this later. Um, if I can find a nice little eye thing, I'll take it. And that is that. For June 2020. Now you know. I still subscribe to them. I really love them. They send them to me now. It's PR gifted, but I would do it anyway because I have discovered a lot of different products through this subscription box. It's the only one that I subscribe to. I know there's other ones out there. I know, I know. I just haven't gotten there yet because if you haven't noticed, I have a lot of products here. It's on my list, but it's not priority at the moment. I'm looking more for smaller businesses, which actually might be in these boxes. I wonder if there is a box with that. I have to go do some research. Now I'm officially done with this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. As always, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you never miss another video like this one. I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then.